Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have a two for one gameplay kind of like I've been doing sometimes with these ghost players. We have Michael Vick, we have Bo Jackson. Today I'm doing Patrick Willis and Julio Jones. Make sure you guys drop a like and if you guys see more gameplays. Also want to say Happy New Year's to you guys. And today we have got Patrick Willis and Julio Jones on the team. So taking a look at Patrick Willis' stats, he's up to a 98 overall for me. I do plan to keep him. I don't plan to sell him because he honestly looks amazing. Uh, 93 speed, 94 excel, 89 strength, 96 tackling, 96 player 91 block shed, 95 hit power, and an 83 zone. He also has a catching of a 66, a jumping of 90, which is actually down a little bit because I use shaker. Uh, and then, of course, his block shed is a 91. Like, this card's insane. This card is going to be very, very good. And pairing him with Ryan Shazier, Shazier just make them absolutely incredible. I don't use abilities on my linebacker or my middle linebackers anyways, but obviously for today's gameplay, I'm going to. So for tier 1, we're going to secure tackler. Higher success rate on conservative tackles. Secondly, you have to have enforcer. Guaranteed tackle after a hit stick. So as long as I just hit stick someone, get a guaranteed tackle next time. And I went with Lurker. So if you guys know what Lurker is, basically if you user someone and they have Lurker cam on them, it's kind of like Usering last year, like how you could jump up and snag balls right over the middle. Like it's a post route, you can be sitting where an in route usually would be, and you might be able to intercept that post route. So, one with that for Patrick Willis, we'll see exactly how that goes. And for the X Factor, one with in or reinforcement, so it's higher chance to defeat run blocks and disrupt catches. Definitely has some pretty good abilities. Uh, he also has like strip specialist and basically every single ability. I should actually show you guys that real quick, but he basically has got every single ability. I know people always want me to show you what abilities he has. He's legit got just about everything for his tier two and also for his tier three. So he is very, very good. And on to Julio Jones, take a look at his stats. I'd say he looks extremely good as well. I actually did tell my Jerry Rice because Julio was better than Jerry in basically everything. Julio Jones, 94 speed, 95 jumping, 95 catching, 96 catching traffic, 94 spec catch, 98 short, that's crazy, 95 medium, and 92 deep routing. The card is just incredible. Also, his spin and juke for many ways is an 88 and an 80, so he definitely can juke a little bit. Now, in terms of his abilities, what I'm going to be using on him for this gameplay, of course, is Moss X Factor, obviously. For tier 1, we're going with Streak Special, so you can get Post Specials, Red Zone. Uh, there's a lot of different things in here. Tier 2, you no know, with Post Flag Elite for today's gameplay. He also gets, you know, Match and Nightmare, Red Zone Threat again. He gets a lot of different things. He actually gets Leapfrog, too, which is pretty crazy. For tier 3, though, I'm going with Route Technician, which is quicker cuts while running routes. You guys can see exactly everything that he gets. Card looks really good. Let's get into the gameplay. Looking to take your game of Madden 20 to another level? Check out Hot Route Tips and get access to ebooks, tips, and schemes from Madden Pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. So it looks like that's my opponent's top three. Definitely a pretty solid team. There's my top three. So my opponent does have Montana with the NFL 100 Fearless activated, and he's also got Eric Dickerson, so that is going to be a big issue. Now, he does have Enforcer on, basically guaranteeing that he's going to break every single first tackle attempt whenever he runs the ball, which is perfect, and the reason why you need Patrick Willis. And that play right there, guys, is exactly why I think you should go with Bo Jackson over Eric Dickerson, because now we have someone like Patrick Willis, whose tackling is really good, and you have the right abilities on him, you, you can actually tackle him on the very first attempt. So it's not like a guaranteed break. Oh, come on, man. It's not gonna be like a guaranteed broken tackle versus Willis, which means that once he's out of the zone, obviously he's not as good as say Bo Jackson, Walter Payton, those guys. So that's why I'd rather go with Bo Jackson because now I feel like people are really not going to always be able to just break every single tackle and always be in the zone the entire game. Nice run there. Which I actually just noticed, this guy's got Eric Dickerson, CJ2K, and Bo Jackson. He's got three running backs. This man has got three running backs, and he also has uh, Joe Montana. It looks like Steve Young is in a QB now, too. What is going on with this team as he throws there to Kittle, who drops it? 
This is definitely one of the most interesting teams that I faced. I don't really know a lot of people that just have like stacked running back cores. The two, three good, good running backs. As he's running here to the right side, I took the wrong gap and he picks up a big game. Third and two, Joe Montana's back in the game, but that doesn't mean it's going to be a pass as he runs it to the outside. Rod Wood simply tackle him. He's down to the 27. Let's see what he goes to here. He might run it. It's probably going to be a run to the right side, right? Yep, and of course it is going to run to the right side. Getting out there, though, with Patrick Willis. Honestly, I think Patrick Willis might be the card that Madden 20 needed. Like, everyone runs stretch. Everyone runs the ball 20-plus times a game. But if you have someone like Patrick Willis who's so quick to get out there and has good block shed, that's a game changer. Third and eight, he's running play action here. Got to watch out for the corner, and he goes underneath DeMoss. All right, so first play, let's see if we can find Julio Jones open, which it looks like Julio is going to be open. Julio Jones, very first play, picked up 25. Well, we did make that one good play, but now it is third and 22, and it's not looking too good. Let's see if we can find Julio on the out route. Julio couldn't bail me out. Julio couldn't bail me out there on third down, unfortunately, but I got to mix in the run a little bit. So next drive, I'm going to get the ball. I'll probably run it unless it's like towards the end of the second quarter here, which this guy actually took an entire quarter with his first possession, just nonstop running the ball. So if we can stop him here as Dickerson, he's just a little bit too quick. I'd love to showcase to you guys exactly what Lurker does, but if he doesn't pass the ball, then unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to. He's going to be running the ball here to the right side again and again, shutting him down. So he did end up punting me the ball. Now I'm going to start off with some runs of Bo Jackson, just try and keep it a little bit balanced here as we run up the middle. Bo breaking tackles could have been gone. So now let's go to the air and see if we can find Julio Jones open. We might get him here if I can fit that in. Great throw there from Mike Vick. Second down, you guys already know where I'm looking to go with the ball, but I don't know if he's going to be open. I'm going to take off here with Mike Vick. I do have evasive, and we just broke a tackle, and then we fumble. Dang it, man. Should have slid. If I had enough time, I definitely would have slid down there, but unfortunately, it's Mike Vick. He fumbles. It is what it is. Second and eight, though. Let's see if we can cover over here to the left side with Patrick Willis. I'm going to really try and get this lurker ability to activate because I want to show you guys exactly what it does as he goes underneath here, just getting more into field goal range. So I'm definitely looking to go deep here with Julio. I just don't exactly know what type of coverage my opponent's running as Julio just got stuck, but I'm going to try it. Julio Jones way down the field. If you go back and watch that play again, I'm pretty sure that Julio like got stuck for some reason on a cornerback and just wasn't able to get like a full release in. But once again, go into the flats or Julio Jones could catch in traffic now like i've always said when it comes to game plays if i continuously just feed one guy your opponent kind of catches on and just user covers him so now i'm gonna mix in a run and i'm gonna try and pass to somewhere else next play as bo jackson picking up a big game urban nine you guys already know where i'm going with this ball i'm gonna wait for julio to kind of go down the field and see if he gets some separation towards the end of his route which i think he actually might to the outside julio yeah that was a forced in ball well, I did exactly what I said I shouldn't be doing in these gameplays, and that's just forcing the ball into someone, but I really want to showcase what Julio Jones can do as he picks up a gain of five. I'd imagine he's just going to start running the ball nonstop now, just trying to drain the clock as he's running here to the right side. Willis getting out there for the tackle. Second and six, kind of expecting to go right back to the run game. Why wouldn't he? He has been nonstop running the ball, so this is more than likely going to be a stretch play maybe to the left because he just motioned over Tony G over there, so it's probably going to be that way. And actually, no, it's going to be a dive mount there with Patrick Willis. Can we get behind him? Get the tackle. All right, heading into the fourth quarter, you guys can see he's literally ran the ball every single play this entire drive. That's all he's doing is running the ball, and hopefully we can get the ball back in offense. I might even let him score if it comes down to it, the way I can just throw the ball to Julio Jones a couple more times and show you guys a little bit more Julio. Second and eighth, though, this might be the time that he actually decides to pass the ball i think maybe he just wants to randomly try and pass which if he does and no he doesn't he tries to run the ball here again shutting it down third and nine this could very well be the game right here i feel as though this has to be a run there's no way he passes here and actually yes it's gonna be a run play shutting it down so we've got two and a half minutes left we have to make our way down the field here and at least put up a touchdown here and then hopefully get an onside is i'm gonna try a screen pass to julio jones get the ball to julio in open space turning up the field julio picking up a gain of about 20 or so I think that all of my completed passes have actually been to Julio Jones. Like, I know I said I was going to target the people, but it seems like I just can't get away from targeting Julio Jones. Let's see if we can hit him here on the crossing route, which it looks like he's kind of using on. Oh, I couldn't throw the ball in time. So we got sacked there trying to get the ball to Julio, but now we're going to try and run the ball, and that did not work out. 
Fourth and 18 coming up. The big issue with this game, guys, is he is honestly running. You can see it the entire game, basically. He's been using three down linemen. He's not scared of me running the ball. Like, he knows I'm not running. He knows I'm trying to pass the ball. So let's see if we can find someone. Open. Tony G has a wide open first down there. Third and 17. Can we find Julio open on this out route? I think we should be able to get the ball to him. Julio Jones, good catch. Did he catch it? Okay, good catch. Coming down to fourth and inches. If we don't pick up this first down here, this is going to be game. But it looks like Julio just dropped it. Are you serious? Well, guys, unfortunately, I believe that is going to be the end of the game. We ended up putting up a hot zero points. I think I only got the ball three times. I think I legit only had three possessions this entire game. Unfortunately, for some reason, Julio Jones got a terrible animation there, and I tried to possession. I'm pretty sure I went possession catch, and for some reason, he got, like, knocked back up into the air and dropped the ball. Kind of unfortunate here, but it looks like that is going to be the game. I want to say GG to my opponent. Unfortunately, he didn't really pass the ball a ton, so I couldn't really showcase to you guys exactly what Lurker Chem does, but you guys can tell Patch Quillis is an absolute monster versus the run, as once again, he's going to be running the ball here. But as for Julio Jones, he had six catches for 123 yards and the costly drop. I think, honestly, though, the one thing we did learn is that Patch Quillis is an absolute beast. He had one tackle for loss, eight total tackles in that game. And the one thing you take away from this gameplay is that if you want to stop stretch and you want to stop dive, if you get yourself a Patch Quillis, he's probably your best chance to stop it. Like you saw, as long as you are in the right gap, as long as you make the right play, he definitely has the stats to go ahead and make all the plays. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the bit. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Honestly, I think it was a pretty solid showcase in a patch Willis and also Julio Jones. So I don't really care about both L's. It is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.